Okay, so this is problem 7.4 out of Griffiths. And so a reference example 7.2, which you can look at if you want, but I kind of already drew it where we have the cylinder. It's a little messed up of a drawing, but I think you get the idea. <clears throat> the only difference is sigma is a function of the radius, it being k over s, where k is some constant. And it wants us to find the resistance. So just real quick, J, or current charge density, is equal to sigma times E. And the area, so it's equal to your current per area, that's your charge density. Our surface area there for these uh, caps here in the body is 2 pi S L. So our first step is to find the E field. Find the E field. So this is actually pretty easy using the Ohm's law. Ohm's law is right here. We can see that the E field is equal to our current density divided by sigma. And we already talked about what J was equal to above. So I'm just going to plug that in. Okay, so pretty straightforward. The next step is to find the potential. Okay. So now that we have the E field, that's actually quite easy because it's just the negative integral uh, from B to A, so going outside in, of your E field, which we just found, uh, times DL, call it DL prime. So then that gets you minus i over 2 pi kl times a minus b. So this dl, um, it's really you're integrating from, if you had some shell, you're integrating out in. So they use dl a lot in the integral, um, but it's not necessarily this length. It's not necessarily, uh, it doesn't mean we're integrating like this over the length of this body. We're actually integrating outwards in. Okay, so just so that's clear. So that makes that integral actually really easy. And to find R, we can use uh, the more familiar Ohm's law. R is equal to V over I. And we just found what, um, V was, so I'm going to just distribute the negative to make it look nice, over 2 pi KL, and times the current, so you can see the current actually ends up canceling out, and you just get B minus A over 2 pi times that constant times the length, and that's actually the solution. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'll probably do a couple more of these throughout this weekend just to get better practice, practice and hopefully it helps.